Hello everyone, my name is Dusty and I'm still hanging out playing Nintendo. Today I'm continuing my Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link playthrough. We're going to be going to the Ocean Palace. Which is just right over here. Now that I can walk on the water. Actually, I think I'm, I think there's something else I can get over here. I believe there's a heart container. Oh, there it is. Okay, this will be the heart container. There's a magic container around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's at the maze, and I just kept not running into it, so I'll have to try to get that a little bit later. I'm still going to go ahead and go to the Ocean Palace right now. I'm not expecting to make it very far. I'd really hate to lose all this experience, but I'm probably gonna, going to. There's, there's too big of a space between where I'm at and where I need to be. So I'm basically just going to go in here and go as far as I can get, and I'll probably end up getting a game over. probably could have just went ahead and lost the remaining life and started over, but uh, I just want to go ahead and see what happens. And I, I'm, I want to get um, a game over on the, the stream somewhere. I didn't live stream this though, I mean the uh, the gameplay series. So if I can get some XP, great, I'm going to try to, um, but if I end up getting a game over, I'm, I'm fine with that too. Like I've said in my um, description for this channel, I'm, I'm not an expert or a pro gamer or anything like that. I'm a pretty normal guy, so I'm not that great at games. Um, I feel like I'm pretty mediocre with my skills, so I'm not going to try to completely hide that I get game overs. If I don't hit level 8 naturally before I go to the the final palace or two, I might do it before I get to the, the penultimate palace. I'm going to do some grinding off screen. I've really tried to avoid that and I really would rather not grind, but this game is, is hard and I'm out of practice, so I'm going to have to. If it wasn't for me being so out of practice, I would let the natural level progression happen. I would go ahead and see if I could finish up my leveling in the Hidden Palace, which is the palace after this one. But um, I just want to win, <laughs> so I'm going to do what it takes. I would really like to kill one of these whiz robes. I really hate this type of whiz robe, though. They're a pain. Um, but I don't remember ever killing one on purpose. Usually I would just run through here and downstab and hit them. And if I got one, great. If not, I just kept on going. But I want to see how much XP they give you. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. They're too hard to hit. Try to accomplish some stuff before I get that game over would be nice. Can't cast life, I'm a little bit a little bit low. So if I got if I let Link get hit in the head with one of these bricks, that's gonna kill him. So I gotta play it safe. I'm gonna try to just let pretty much all of them fall so that I can 
safely kept my way up to that key. I could probably cast jump and get up there, but I know I didn't get hit. Oh, there's a bow in here. Well, he didn't drop any fire on me, so maybe I can get up here still. Oh, nope. That's it. <laughs> Alright, so I just went ahead and uh, cut it to where I'm back here in this area now. And there's that sticking again I dealt with on the last video. I'm going to try to fix that. I still haven't tried to put the USB in the back of the computer instead of the front. I'll try that. Because I really don't think it's the controller. If it was the controller, it seems like it would stick all the time, and it doesn't. I could be wrong about that, but I've never had a controller just stick once in a while. So I believe that's the connection between the adapter and the computer. Anyway, we're back to it here. I'm going to see if... Um... Oh, and I, I leveled up off-screen, too, by the way. I leveled up my magic off-screen. I started to hunt for that other magic potion, but I didn't want to do too much off-screen. I, um, I didn't even mean to gain that level. It just... Uh... It just happened. So I don't really don't have to play it as safe here now because I've got some more life and I've got three lives. So I'll try to get up there as soon as I can. Well, <laughs> I could have avoided that hit, but when I jumped up there, I slid a little bit too far to the left. I really didn't mean to. Come on, bricks. I was trying not to go too far to the left to get that guy to, to come out, but I did. What a... He drops fire, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> yep, there it is. I dug a hole for myself trying to downstab. Oh, I didn't mean to cut that hole like that. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> I told you, there's potions in those. I guess there's just no potions in them until you get this far into the game. Or maybe I just wasn't hitting them quite right. So like I was saying before, another thing that makes this dungeon a little bit easier than the last one is you just don't have to cast spells so much. You don't have to cast Reflect. So that's magic points you get to save for casting shield and okay, back to Mega Sabine doesn't kill him. I still want to kill one of these guys. I can't do it. My sword's not strong enough. I want that pee bag. Hmm. I know I can get up there. There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
got a key. Had to check, make sure. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I want the XP you've got though. Oh, nice. I don't want to be generous. I don't really, really need that, but I'll take it. I'm gonna kill that guy. I feel like it was a missed opportunity to make it to where no enemies drop keys in this in this game, like they could in the well in every other Zelda game that I've played. Either drop them or they guard a chest that has them. I kind of like them to drop them. I think that would be cool, especially in this game that's really about combat. It seems to me that it would make sense to um, prompt you to have to kill every enemy you encountered. Because once I don't have to level up, I don't I don't fight anything. I just bypass things. I feel like the developers knew how big of a pain these whiz robes are and they use them every chance they get in this dungeon. Oh man. I want to try to get some XP. I don't want to be avoiding everything, but... It just gets to be so much stuff on the screen. get up there. I'm going to see if I can't knock the floor off from under him. Oh, I thought he'd fall down. Guess not. Oh, now he fell <laughs> right into me. cash shield as soon as I see one of those guys. I keep overestimating my ability to take them out quickly. Let's see if I can get a little more XP. It's running away from me. up in a corner like that. I don't even feel bad about that. I'm just going to get out of here. I'm not going to risk that happening again. This dungeon is one of the worst for everything looking the same. There's really only so many room shapes that are in this game. I think I might have said that in one of the earlier videos. And in the earlier dungeons, it's not so bad. But uh, the bigger the dungeons get, the further you get into the game, uh, the, the more apparent it becomes. Um, the final palace doesn't really have that problem. It has... Um, sort of its own layouts. Oh, I 
challenge the boss, that means I missed the item. So this guy, you can't hit him in the head. I guess the spikes are supposed to let you know that you can't hit him in the head even though he's got that big mush you could be hitting him in. <laughs> right in his mouth. But I guess that's technically what I'm doing. I'm hitting him in the mouth, not the belly. He reminds me of King Hippo from Punch-Out. Oh, getting hit a little more than I would like, but there he goes. It's awesome that I got to level off his 500. I'll get to level again right here. level 8 life good all right so I've got to leave and come right back in so I can get the the flute or the I think it's called the flute in this game not the recorder which really if you wanted to uh, a, a way to level up earlier or maybe more efficiently is to deliberately miss the item in every palace to where you have to go back into it because if, when you do it respawns all the enemies but I've tried not to do that I wanted to make the I don't want to make the videos too long but I just plain old didn't didn't find it so I gotta go back in This room isn't so bad if you can just time your jumps so that they don't spawn wherever you were last. I'm not quite sure where I haven't gone here, but uh, I don't think I've been down this way. Oh, well, I'm up in here. The, de the palace after this one is really bad for having just nothing in it. Uh, it's very empty. There's a lot of pea bags in it. Um, and this one I think might have some of that too the great palace the final palace is that's all it is it's just empty space the whole challenge of that is getting through it in as short a route as you can and not getting lost in the place so that just means there's a whole lot of area that you just don't have to go to This late in the game, coming back into this palace probably isn't going to give me that much of an edge on XP. In the early parts of the game it would, especially if you fought and killed every bubble that you encountered. Oh man. Yeah, I was going to fall. That would have been a death. This is some nastiness. I really don't remember this room. At all. Too much going on right now. I can't downstab because I could knock the floor out from under me. Oh, man. I need to 
shield this. Oh, that threw me off. Just casting off, stand still. I thought you could walk through this wall. Nope. Well, at least I get a potion out of it. There must be some other wall that you walk through. I ain't got time for this room. <laughs> I'm just gonna fly through it. It's too nasty. I hate those enemies. They steal XP. And that lava right there, I can't downstab them. It's just, it's too dangerous. are a drop in the bucket now. But I'm still going to try to get some of them. So this, this part right here looks almost exactly like another part in the dungeon. thing with the similar environments is one of the reasons that I really don't care for the original Metroid. I replayed that not long ago, and I, I've beat that game quite a few times. Uh, when I was a kid, it's one of the games that I wanted and never did get. Um, and uh, I kind of feel like if I had it growing up, I would like it better than I do. But I ended up spending the most time with Super Metroid, so that's the one I ended up falling in love with. And trying to go back to Metroid and Metroid 2, I just really don't care for them. But since I had this one, I guess it, it just doesn't bother me as much that there's a lot of similar environments. I also would say I don't think this is near as bad as Metroid is about it. But they do have some of the same flaws. Dump stab, I don't know what happened. Got regular old blue stuff. Oh. I hit both times. <laughs> well, I got this key. Could be wrong, but I feel like I'm getting more keys than I will need. I'm just wanting to get the flute, and then I'm going to leave. You know, one thing I've never done is I've never drawn the maps for these palaces the way I've drawn the map for Metroid. And really, I didn't draw the map for Metroid until recently. The last time I played through it, I decided I was going to try to draw the map. And I drew it and colored it and everything like I would have when I was a kid. Um, of course, when I was a kid, I... I what? <laughs> that was crap right there. He went down in the floor to get me. potions in here. Being jumping high is making it really hard to fight that guy. 
I still can't, I still can't do it. Yep, I'm just gonna get this, I think I'm gonna go. Um, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I was trying to downstab. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Got my flute and I'm just gonna get out. I don't wanna be in here anymore. Don't wanna try to get killed fighting that iron knuckle. confused there for a second. one of those wizard rope guys. I'm not quite sure which way to go. probably could try to get some potions, but I'm just trying to get back out. If I lose lives trying to get back out, I'll just I'll just keep going. So I don't want to farm for potions. I get some on the way though, I'm okay with that. <laughs> So I'm guessing everything gets its health back when I leave an area, so if I hit one of those whiz robes and came back, he's he gets his life back. said it, he tried to. I actually think I read somewhere that the whiz robes in here, I mean, I don't even think they're called whiz robes, they're called something else. But I feel like some of them are supposed to be whiz robes and some of them are supposed to be like witches, like Their names, the witches in Ocarina of Time, Kumi and Kotaki, I think. I could be saying that wrong, I don't know how to say it. It's been way too long since I played Ocarina of Time. I've probably said this in one of the previous videos, but I'm not that big a fan of Ocarina of Time. Not that I, I wouldn't go so far as to say I dislike it, it's just not a game that I replay. I replay Link to the Past or the original Legend of Zelda a lot, but I don't replay a brain of time. Sounds 
some of that might be because I don't have a copy of it right now. I don't have a copy um, on my, my Nintendo 64. I've got a way to play it on my Wii. I think I've got it... Um, I think I downloaded it on the Wii Shop. But um, I hardly ever touch the Wii, so... Well, I'm out of here. So I'll go to a town because I like to end my videos on a town. And I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for this episode of Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Hang out with me again sometime. See ya.